Hi guys, my name is Marzena. My name is Sławek. Welcome to Mastery Camp Online. This is American style tango silver level. We have prepared two little groups for you guys so you can practice this at home or in the studio or even put those routines on a competition floor. Let's start. So the first group we start with the flicks. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. Into the curl, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Into the follow-away promenade, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. One more time from the other angle. And quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow 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 quick quick slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow quick quick slow slow, quick, quick, slow. So now let's work on each particular step. We're starting with the flicks. That step starts with the open reverse turn. So we're not going to spend too much time on it because most of us we know already open reverse turn from our uh, bronze level. So let's go into open reverse turn. Starting diagonally center and we go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Up to here, we're just doing true reverse turn. Now we are going to slightly increase the distance between us and the gentleman steps outside partner. The lady is going to do a little flick here. We're going to do this from the side with her right foot brushing her calf on gentleman calf to make sure we don't kick too high. Now, if we go back into our alignment, now we're continuously turning to the right. Now, gentleman is going to take his left foot in the outside partner position and the lady is going to do another flick. And we're going from here, we can open the hand or leave it on the gentleman neck or the shoulder or we can have two hand hold. Now, we are continuing quick, quick, slow, 
creating exactly the same as we had in the first picture, ending with the right side fan slow, slow, and a tango close position on the end. Now let's go for the gentleman action. So as Marjana mentioned, first part is open reverse turn. So here, just make sure gentlemen, allow the lady to take a step outside partner. So release your right uh, hip flexor. The part to the side here, we wanna make sure we point the left foot. And again, now uh, prepare ourselves to take a step outside partner. Now here's what I'm going to do. You hopefully see my right arm. I'm going to release slightly. So it give Marjana a little bit more uh, feeling of creating more space for me. Right. This from the side so they can see the space how we increase so you, so, you guys so can that's see it right now that we're moving further away from Slavic right and that create more space for me to take a step out say partner and increasing the shape to start creating the flick so one so one part of the of the step is to have a flick action that's where the name of the step came from but on top of that I would like to increase a little bit usage of my base so this will have a nice presentation of Marjana stop as she's creating a flick action, okay? So if we do one more time. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and end is the picture. So now from here, make sure gentlemen, extremely important, if I walk away maybe I can see better. It's very tempting from here, especially when you create this big line, to pull lady back to go into the next step, but that's how very easily she will lose balance. First thing what we have to do is compress. So get back into our leg. Since it was a big shape on top, go back into your leg. Again, use your uh, hip flexor to allow lady to go out, say partner, point. So basically we, we have a mirror action on the other side right now. Same here, compress, place the foot, allow Marjana to flick around your leg, and then you're going to again create a little bit of shape to present her top. So you can see we're creating an identical action on both sides, okay? Now, the same ladies, we're going to match, of course, that drop of weight that the gentleman produces for us, because that will give us that compression to have a strong direction afterwards. So we always say compression creates progression, Try to feel that this is very important because we are truly moving quite a lot here from that uh, one side to the other side. So the moment when I'm here and I'm connected, when we compress, I'm getting ready to move myself to go to the other side. And now I can do exactly the same brush with my leg on this leg. And then from here we do one more time the same. So now as I'm exiting again, I flex my knee as much as I say, I compress to progress. I use my left hip flexor to create a rotation. Again, pointing and I'll do exactly the same as we did the first. And ladies, you can do a little flick here or you can do a little flick again behind the gentleman half. Right, and then from here again, as we compress, again, I still use the same hip flexors. This is a great step to uh, make your hips much more active. And now from here, we rotate, we turn lady into the prominent. So here's what's important. Whatever you start, a gentleman, with your right hip, you have to continue even more. So you see, at this point, I'm already in a prominent, right? So if you will stop your hips too early, you're gonna stack here. So this is again, very common position where we see just because the hip is inactive, right? So imagine the hip is going to rotate all the way back because this is where you wanna place your lady, okay? Guys, if you feel any pain in your low back, I guarantee you, unfortunately, that you are doing this step from incorrect place. You're probably rot rotating your top instead of your hips. So as Suave keeps saying, the hip initiates this, and I truly believe it's like a blinker in a car to tell the lady where her next step is going. And like Suave said, I have to go very strongly passing him. So ladies, we are on the outside of this rotation. Please make sure you drive as long as possible forward before you even think about turning, okay? So the boy will be the one who actually initiated the turn, ladies. If you will turn by yourself, there's a big chance that you end up with your step uh, in front of the man, which means the prominent won't feel comfortable. Okay, so let's just do this one more time. So we just finished that last flip. 
the lady goes as long as possible to pass the gentleman. Now hopefully you guys can see that we both balance, but I'm totally feeling behind uh, uh, Swavek, so I can feel like this is a room for his head, there is room for somebody else's head, and there is my head on behind that. Not being too close because then we will be too crowded and we're going to knock each other out of balance. I have a last thing because this again I see it very often and I'll show face to the camera. So imagine I have Marjana here which is the flick. Now I want you to pay attention to how I place my foot. So often what I see that even if you start using your hip, your left foot stays open. So you kind of stuck here, see? So it's like a more like a, a plie position. But what's, what's important in this action is because I place Marjana that way, my free leg right now has to follow that action. So it has to go much more under and also a little bit turn. So if I actually bring my feet together, see, I should be in a normal promenade. Often, because the foot is placed in different direction, the promenade will look like that. So that's why the placement of the foot will not allow your hip to actually do the job. Okay? It's like a so, pigeon toes, right? So if we can do this one more time to camera, ladies, just look how strongly I go forward and then I turn my foot and the same here as we're closing, I take a forward step and then the gentleman is rolling be around his hip flexor to come back to the close position. Okay, so that's our flips. Let's move on to the next step. Curl. We uh, put a lot of swivels in this routine, going one way, the other way, so we hope you can find a theme. This next step, which is called curl, has a beautiful potential to turn uh, and create those swivel actions for the ladies as well. So let's do it maybe first that, uh, that we're going to see Swavex back more, and I'm going to flip it. So we go quick, quick. The figure starts from the first two steps of open reverse turn. As the gentleman takes his third step, he's going indicate a turn for the lady. I'm going to turn to the left, and for this particular moment, I'm in a shadow position with my back, but my feet are opposite uh, as I would be in a closed position. Then the gentleman is indicating with his left arm that we're taking step that is going to end with the turn. Now I'm going to do the same thing from the other side. I go quick, quick, reverse turn. Now I go outside partner, forward, and then I'm turning. You can see hopefully my shoulders are beautifully parallel to Swavex. And then he indicates the next step forward, and I'm turning into a tango close, or in our case, ended in prominent position. Uh, if I can give one suggestion for the ladies, I want you to think when you take this uh, first underarm turn action, feel like you're doing forward walk turning, which means I only turn my foot, my body doesn't turn. I enter back with the right side and I'm going to finish with the left side. So it's a really going from prominent to counter prominent position. But when I'm doing the second half of a turn, I have to arrive on this foot and I'm going to do a pivoting action or a hip toss action to turn my foot, but my body is following that rotation. So those two actions are completely different, even though it might look like it's similar. For gentlemen, uh, it's again very similar activity what we did in uh, our, our flick action. So there's a, again a lot of activity through the uh, right hip flexor. But what we have to do, it's also coordinate uh, our upper body, the lead in the turn, right? So the hip again will allow the lady to go outside partner. But at the same moment, as I'm gonna do that, I will start initiating uh, underarm turn to the left. So that means my left arm will start going up and continue going towards Marjana's left and the right arm will slightly increase the space so it will give Marjana a little bit more space to actually create her forward walk turning as she just mentioned. So let's try that. And quick, quick. So right here I am start again releasing my hip flex and at the same moment you will start seeing my body start uh, projecting up towards the left which offer the left arm going up and here's the turn. If we do again from here I close Marjana back in. Quick, quick. So I use my hip flexor, I start picking left side up, 
I offer my right arm so she can continue turn. And now from here, the closing two things. My right side, see the arm with my body continue sending Majena where my left elbow pointing, so it's across. And at the same time, I'm actually changing hold to tell Majena that I'm coming back to the normal close position. So there's a lot of, a lot of activity over the standing for a lot of rotational activity for the men, okay? Yeah, so you can see that the step could be used beautifully in the corner. We could use it just one time or we can just dance back and forth and come back to the same direction. Originally, the step has two curls, but you can pick and choose when you create your own choreography. Okay, and the last let's step. move to the last step. So the last step is the follow ronde. So we, we start this step in prominent position. Let's go this way from that angle first. So we go from promenade. Man is first cutting the lady's track. So what I do first, I actually close myself to much on the right side. So she literally maintained her prominent position and I pivot over my right foot to close myself back to the close position first. Once that is happening, I actually change track to allow her to take a step between my feet, okay? So that is the first activity for the man. So when the gentleman is initiating that rotation to the right from prominent position, ladies, we are actually on the inside of a turn, which means we have to increase the foot pressure to make ourselves slower. We don't move with the same speed, we are actually allowing the gentleman to pass us. And slow, quick. See, we came back to the close position. So now I again follow my left elbow, take a step to the side. And here it's again activity of the left side closing in and opening again the right side to encourage or invite Marjana to take a step back in a promenade, which is going to be a follow away action. Okay? So now from here we're releasing our leg, and that's our ronde. Right? Now we continue moving back. I bring lady back to close position first. Let's spend just a little bit time on this action here. And we're going to do it in a different angle, so hopefully you guys can see that follow-up action after the run. They have the gentleman hip feels like it's closing, opening lady to that run day and then closing us back to the close position. This step, it's a really difficult step in the lead if we want to make this transition very smooth. So as we go into that run day action, the gentleman is indicating the upper body. I feel that his upper body allows me to turn. At the same time, we're very strongly connected with our inside leg. When we're going to go back, I hope you can see that our shoulders they don't turn at all. So as we go to this next step, I want ladies feel that you're only going to turn your right foot and then you're going to go very strongly with the left side forward. So I hope you can see that there is really the legs that they're creating that ronde action and not opening or peeling our upper body away from each other. So if we show wrong, this is something where we don't want to see maybe from this position. So when we get forward first and now from here is again very common with the bodies also opening too fast so obviously you see our, our tummies. tummies right so this is not good looking position so i will actually think of when i do my ronde i actually focus on closing my body towards Marjana instead of opening away from her it's very sort of contradictive feeling i'm thinking like my upper body is going in but the legs going out. So you should feel like a pretzel. But you see, it almost feels like the upper body stay in a close position. That is basically the, the feeling, okay? Okay, so let's do this one more time the opposite way. So we're going to go exactly back to the camera for you. So the lady goes between. As we go to the ronde, I go forward walk turning into that left foot. Then I'm going to ronde and then Suavex right foot is going to turn me and then I can follow through this action here to close it. So you've heard in this video already a lot, uh, this, this um, comment, and I will say it again, a lot of activity in my right hip flexor as I'm inviting Majena into the ronde. So basically every time, I'll show sideways, every time when you go backwards, I want you to feel that your knee is dancing forward, but your hip flexor is actually dancing back. So you see this separation of the joint. If the, you're going to flex your knee, but the hip stops, immediately you become back weighted. 
So you should feel slightly like you want to sit on a chair before you actually move into the following figure versus you want to fall into the chair. Nobody would do this in a regular life, right? So let's do the same step one more time from the other angle, entire step. So we go from prominent and we go slow. The gentleman's on the outside of the rotation. Now lady goes into fall away. We're turning omni base. The top doesn't turn. And the last step is the same as we did before. It's our right side fan, and then we're closing. Hope you guys enjoy the first group. Now let's talk about the group number two. We have prepared two steps. They are longer steps. We hope you will enjoy them. Outside underarm turn to the right into the shadow position. Quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, slow into the shadow drag. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow, Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow, 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 slow. Slow and slow and quick, quick, slow. One more time from the other angle. And quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. So our very first step starts from reverse turn. We're going to do it both ways. The beginning is exactly the same as the regular reverse turn. Quick, quick. From here, the gentleman is indicating that we're going to have a change of the hold. I hope you can, can see this. And he offers the other hand, and then the lady is coming with a very strong right side lead. Now we're going to go spiral and forward walk turning to finish with the gentleman. So let's do this one more time. Now what's the difference? The gentleman has a different timing than the lady because obviously one of us has to change because we're going into the shadow position afterwards. So the lady timing is quick, quick, slow, 
quick and quick slow versus the gentleman gentleman timing is just the regular as the reverse turn quick quick slow quick quick slow okay so i hope you guys can see that the lady is the one that actually has to increase the speed over there to end up on the same foot so what's very important uh, from the leader's perspective in this step it's the man's indication into the change of the connection change of the hold to allow the lady to do wind up because see we start the figure turning to the left and then eventually lady has to over rotate her body in order to turn to the right so we have to allow to do all of that so if you remember from the previous part of the video we talk about the curl it's a very similar um, initiation into this turn so if you um, have a look we go quick if I do curl here look so I'll let, let lady go forward see that so the beginning is very very much similar the difference is see this at this point is the same but now I actually let go of this hand so I'm not gonna hold my hand. I let go and I let her take a step forward we change hold right here and then she's going to continue rotating so what she's doing she's preparing her right side to start turning now if you uh, pay attention to what we're doing in a, a connection this stays very strongly so what i cannot do i cannot let this arm keep moving as margin is winding up because there will be no uh, common center so where we can connect okay so i actually believe there is much more push of a connection of course i'm not super leaning but how much my right knee drives forward i equal, give equal power to that right arm now, as we do the turn, I take my first step in CBMP, ladies. Then you're going to feel like your left foot is turning, and then you go again with the very strong right side lead. Now, you're waiting for the gentleman to start changing the connection again. So I can feel, uh oh, something is about to change. He is changing me. He is allowing me to finish the rotation, and then I take my last step to finish exactly in the shadow position. Okay, let's do this maybe the other way. Mm -hmm. So we go quick, quick change of the hand, slow, quick and quick. We offer the connection and now we take the step together. I want to uh, give you one more thing to think about in this, this step on the very end because remember Marjana had, as she mentioned, completely different timing than and we have. At some point, we have to reconnect to get into the shadow position. So right after Marjana finished her turns, so if we go, she goes quick and quick. And so once we change the connection, we both need to uh, coordinate our lowering together into our left foot. So now we can take a step back and then finish in this beautiful uh, line or I can connect to Marjana's back. This is obviously your choice. But for me, this lowering together is extremely important. Otherwise, you might look a little bit messy on the end of that figure. Yeah, so guys, please don't try to match our speed because you will end up being too fast. Okay, let's do this maybe one more time mm -hmm. this way. So we'll go and quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, compress, slow. Okay, we hope this last view was the most obvious how we connected to the foot and then we drove from there. Now, we're moving into the next step, a reverse turn in shadow, going into a drag. So it's called re, uh, shadow, shadow reverse. reverse and a drag. So it's very nice combination. This is the first time we're actually working on the shadow position. So let's just spend a couple minutes on the tango shadow. Uh, for those who watch the walls video, you will have a full explanation as well over there. When we are going into the tango close hold and we're going to just flip the lady to match where the head is, that's a perfect location for our shadow. So if we just turn slightly to the camera, I hope you guys can see that there is a room to see that wall on the back. We're not staying attached to each other in the shadow position. That's the very first important thing because it's very easy during this reverse turn to step on each other's toes. The second thing that will help us is to feel who is on the outside of the rotation and who is on the inside of the rotation. So I hope when you guys will see when we dance this reverse turn, on the first half 
the lady has to travel further, which means she is on the outside of the turn, the gentleman is on the inside. And if we do four, five, six, the gentleman has to progress further. So that means he is on the outside turn, lady is on the inside. So remember, whoever is inside of the turn, this person always has to be slower with whatever action you're doing at the moment. This will allow the other person to, to uh, nicely um, match with your speed. So in this case, you're not actually traveling with the same speed. Now, I hope you guys see us from the back that if I would come here, I would be slightly on the side with my right foot. So right now, we're not exactly parallel to each other. My right foot, it's outside of Slavic's right foot. Now, from here, we both are increasing flexibility uh, from our right hip flexor to take this next step in CBMP. Now, ladies, we are slowing down to allow the gentleman to cut our track off so he can go ahead and then he brings us back in front. So our location for the entire step shouldn't change. Wherever you started that reverse turn, try to stay in the same uh, location until that figure is uh, ended. The good thing for gentlemen, you can, you can take uh, like a shoe box or something the similar oh, size. Anchor hanger and you can put between your right wrist and your right rib cage and then the same step. So you will notice that it doesn't matter if you're in a closed position or in a shadow position, the, the awareness between your right side of the body and your right hand should be exactly the same. So as we go here to the side, now from here the gentleman is going to create a beautiful picture line in that shadow quartet. If we just look here and I flip myself, that will be the picture line that we are both projecting and creating what the gentleman is doing. So my job as a leader is to uh, increase compression through my right foot while we finish the Venus crosses. So this way lady knows that I'm not going to continue another Venus cross, but rather do something different, right? So especially before any change, make sure you increase the foot pressure because what it does as well, it helps us to start changing the body angle as I'm flexing my knee, okay? Because often what, what I see uh, after chasse, we enter to the left foot and now I see leaders trying to create some shape. So it's going to be always way too late. I want to start initiating the shape as I'm still my right foot. You already see the angle is changing. So by the time when I enter my left foot, I just complete it. So that gives me a chance to do way stronger and way more stable shape. The, the, the easiest way to achieve that is as your base is swinging up and left, um, you can try using your right lats and start rotating outward. So you see there's a swinging activity through the base and rotational activity through your right lat and that continue going all the way into your head. Yeah? So this will help you to actually project up away from the floor instead of down into the floor. Okay, so let's just do one more time, the chasse into that corte, go. Chasse and now into that corte line. Now from here, we are recovering the shape. Well, our base is going to allow the lady to get back to the right foot. And here, we can put this foot on the floor or you can do a little passe action where your left heel is touching your right knee. Now from here, the gentleman is leading the left side so the lady can go into a fan and she compresses and we open the explosion line right here. Okay, so the, what's very important, I hope you guys could see how strongly Swavik was using his left side to tell me that I have to take two steps to pass him. What's very dangerous from this beautiful line here is that the gentleman starts turning too early and right now lady is going to feel very crowded and entering the gentleman's space. So what Marjana said about the elbow is very important. I always think since I have a, a frame, I always try to follow one of my elbows, the direction of it. So it, that's going to uh, be uh, 
usable for my own movement as far as I'm leading Majena. See, the elbows will always give you the cross movement, will take you away from being square and flat. Okay, so we'll do one more time. Maybe let's do from the quartet. Okay. So we go from the quartet, then we recover the shape. And then from here, the gentleman is leading the lady with the very strong side. Then the lady goes forward in CBMP. You can see hopefully that Solvik is still available with his right hand. Then we change the compression here, which tells me I need to go into push connection. And then the gentleman redirects the lady into open fan position. The place here is very important when we're connected, it's called common center. So it's crucial for us not to move this as we're moving away, since we want to understand exactly where the center is. So we're both going to move ourselves away from that spot, but we'll try as much as possible not to give any movement there. Okay? I want to add one more information about how we um, exit after the corte. Because the gentleman, you have different options how you can exit. So one option is what I just did, which means uh, moving with Majena. So we're still in a shadow position. The other way is that I'm actually going to uh, end up launching to the other foot. Now I feel that I can actually create a bigger shape. And see, I create also more resistance for Majena. But now I'm still going to use my elbow to send Majena away and then come back. Okay, so the difference will be, since I will choose to be on a different foot when we create a line, the timing of my movement as I lead Majena into the left side position will be also different. So if I will uh, move with Majena, if I will end up with her over my right foot, I will take a two steps, so I have two slow. So this will be my first slow when Majena has quick, quick timing. And from here, we both join, uh, taking a second step in a slow timing. If I choose to do my lunging position to my left, most likely I will stay on my left foot. So the first one I'll just pose when Majena does her two quicks and I'll join her in a second slow. Okay? Okay. And on the end we have just the swivel, the fan action when we're swiveling our foot. The most common mistake is that people don't arrive over the foot before they turn. So make sure you follow our doctor's rule that you have always first direction, then rotation, and the last time shape. If we're going to start turning or shaping before we actually get on the foot, we will lose balance. So when we get from here from the left side position, we're going to go forward and we're only turning our base. So I truly feel that the base actually turns my top versus we're trying to turn the top and then we might end up not really uh, leading and following each other. So if we do one more time, we go direction and shape. And then from here we have the same step, we go direction. Now the gentleman closes lady around him. He has no more turn and we can do it the tango close to finish that sequence. Okay, so that ending obviously we know it since bronze level uh, and we hope that that explanation really helped you guys. Teraz cut i zróbmy tylko podziękowania, bo tam to było wściekło. Tak. To było silver, tak? Aha. We would like to say big thank you to all of you for joining us for this Silver American Tango. We hope those explanations will help not only in those steps, but you can apply the same technique to your own personal routines and feel much better after using this information. We cannot wait to see you in 2021 in Las Vegas. Stay healthy, stay happy, guys. Thank you. Thank you.